Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. When we last left off, we were actually just up there in that magazine. Now, I have actually looked at a guide because I'm pretty stumped on where to go. Uh, the guide wasn't very useful at all. It told me to go to the ship storage corridor, uh, which is fine, but the corridors aren't named. <laughs> And there's nowhere to find um, any, you know, names. There's nothing here. There's no ship storage here. So I don't know what the hell that's about. Um, now, apparently, we have to go back to deck four. But we have to go down a certain set of stairs. I don't know where those stairs are. So that's the fuck factor that we're dealing with right now. Uh, right. And I'm not 100% sure. We've got a lot of rounds to the easy shooter, haven't we? Um, so, wardroom, magazine. See, none of this even makes any sense either. Okay. I mean, there's, uh, there's a door or a set of ladders, should I say, down here. Uh, whether that's exactly what we're looking for or not, I've got no bloody idea. Navigating this game has been a huge pain in the balls. Okay, so is there any like right? Let's have a just try and read what this is. Mess, and that's to the rooms. I think what could have helped this game out uh, a little bit is if these signs were a little bit more legible. Like obviously, if you look at them head on with the 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 migraine and brain disease inducing uh, disco lenses, then you can read them. But they should have been a little bit more legible, I think, just going past them. Uh, okay. Or at least you should be able to like walk up and push the uh, action button and search them or something. Seems a little bit... Oh, elevate. See, the, this is the elevator to deck four. Oof. We don't want an elevator to deck four, according to the guide. According to the guide, let's just go down and have a look. According to the guide, we need to go down a ladder. And we shall emerge in the dark. Pretty sure, if we go down here, we will not emerge in the dark. Ah, uh, this I. We don't actually, as well, um, having a thumb through the guide. Yeah, see, we're not in the dark. Having a thumb through the guide. I haven't read it, but I've had a quick squiz through. We don't actually have a lot of this game left at all. <laughs> Which is more frustrating. We're so close to the end, but we just we have no idea no fucking idea where we're going or, or you know, uh, I'm guessing You know and at this point as well, it's been so long so long since I've played Jack's part of the story that I know there's ladders dotted around and all that bullshit But I can't remember where they were man. Jesus Christ. I know we had a grappling hook somewhere, but I mean, or a winch, I should say, but fuck knows where that is. So let's just explore this area because now we know playing as Jessifer, um, generally you're only allowed to enter areas that serve a purpose. So, ooh. I mean, if we can go through here, there's got to be a reason we can go through here, surely. Sensor's broken. Right, so that's a dead end. <coughs> Excuse me, this is not a dead end. <coughs> so, uh, we got Zambles here. Not really sure where the Zambles are, but... Oh, we can go through this room. Okay. Yeah, there's no, like, rhyme or reason you know, either to, like, what what you can go through and what you can't. Ah, ladder. Right. Oh. But that's not a ladder down. Oh. Son of a bitch.
Uh, we're in that wounded state now. Yeah, that's not a ladder down. Uh, I wish these corridors were named. Like, why wouldn't they be, you know? Um, let's keep going through. I mean, if nothing else, we might find some cool stuff. Which would be nice. We're in the passageway. Oh, right. Jessica, I am not going to be putting up with you moaning in my ear. So she seems to, like, get winded, even if she's very, very slightly injured. Okay. Yeah, we don't even get um, any blurb when we go through the door, so we don't even know. Uh what this corridor is called because it specifically says on my guide i've got it up on my second screen here uh use the access key on the computer in the lower part of the room we've done that head back to the ship's the ship's door hallway right the the ship's store that's fantastic but what is that we don't have a ship store hallway i mean obviously we do we just don't know what fucking hallway that is there's only about 1,700,000. I'm going to say this is not the right way. Or is this the right way? Is this the way down to deck four? I mean, technically we're out in the dark. It doesn't actually mention being outside. But it mentions being out in... Uh, or it mentions being in the dark. Oh, are we here, guys? See, it says go up the ladder. We're in the dark. Fuck my ass and call me Charlie, guys. I I think we've I think we've made it. I'm not sure. This has got to be. Oh, this is hangar two. No. Right, we're on deck four. So fuck it. That's a win. Right, come on, you bastard. Alright, can we aim at the brain, please? There we go. Go fuck yourself, sir. Progress at last, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's, at, he's not had enough. He, he wants a little bit more. There you go, buddy. How's that? Does that feel good? Yes. Oof. I mean, this is as dark as it gets, guys, to be fair. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I've got the useless goggles that just make you feel sick. Um, I guess we're just going to go straight on then. Nice. Be nice if there's some lights here. I'm hoping this whole section isn't just going to be dark. Okay. Right. Good stuff. S Ooh, son of a fucking bitch. Alright, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, God. More bullets. Okay, I don't think we can quite get that guy. He appears to be stuck in the corner, which is fine. You know, we can handle a guy stuck in the corner. That's good. Oh, my God. I'm so glad we made some progress. And we have light. Oh, okay, so tentacle doodad. Can't go through there. That means we have to go back past the um, Xenomorph, which is fine. I don't mind that. Uh, you know. Yeah, we can go down here as well. But see where this leads. Hopefully somewhere good. Ooh. Right, kill him. Kill him, please. Ooh. Man, we put some rounds down range there. Oh, we got a creeper. We got a creeper. None of that creepy bullshit to me, sir. Right, cool. Now, anything in here that we can scan? Any loot? Any items? 
Uh, I guess not. Really? Nothing? Game? It's empty. Everything seems normal. Really? Like, nothing. Nothing at all. You're going to give me two things, and one of them's Jack. Alright, fine. I'll play your game. Now, we have the stick penis man through here, but I wonder... Can we be a naughty little sausage? And do that. Oh, God. Run. I mean, yes. We can. I'm not convinced it was worth it, but I guess we did a thing. All right. Uh, we really are quite low on ammo, aren't we? Like, severely lacking in the ammunition department. Right, what's through here? I do like the way the um, guide says, use the goggles to find your way in the darkness. It's like, but, 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 the goggles, the goggles do nothing. So, you can't. <laughs> it's so silly. Alright, okay. Now, I'm not sure. Should we go up here? Uh, can he actually hurt me through that? Probably not. Not in any kind of worthwhile capacity, anyway. Yeah, he's still alive. Fucker. Why do the enemies not know when to die around here? It's very rude. What do you think? It's like incredibly rude. I like it in my video games when my enemies know how to die. Ooh, run! Yep, ow. Come on. Move it. Move your arse, woman. Oof. And she's wounded again. Oh man, we really need to be... Uh, you know, let's stop taking chances, but we really are running out of bullets here. Okay, well that's fine. It, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, now, there's still some doors back there that we haven't searched. So before we go up here and rule this place out, let's go back down to the main deck itself. Uh, okay. You know what would be nice? Some goddamn health items. Ammo is... Ammo is what it is. We're making do. We're not exactly overflowing, but we've got enough. Health, on the other hand, health is an issue. And I see you creepy motherfucker in the, all the way over there. I see you. I kind of wish these bullets had a bit more range to them. There we go. Yeah, I get fucked. Right, so what is this room? Sensor is broken, can't be opened. Well, that shit ain't no good, is it? So what's through here? Oh, magazine. Oh, lush. Right, well, I... oh, three machine gun magazines. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We got plenty of ammo now. That was a lot, actually. T7s, I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. T7s are very risky. Two level three energy drinks, not too bad. Not too bad. Better than a kick in the balls. And the T9 uh, explosives, like, I, they're worthless. They literally have no use in the game whatsoever, to be honest. I don't get them at all. Two grenades now. Yes. Thank you. This is lucrative. Nothing. That's okay. Ooh, three pistol magazines as well. <gasps> Ooh, you're spoiling me today. You are spoiling me. Uh, I think this game knows it's Christmas. Yes. Alright. Uh, nothing. 
How about the one? How about the one right in front of you, Jessica? Yeah, the one you're looking at. How about that one? Nothing. Okay. Nothing useful in there either. Well, you know, not bad. So that's taken us up to 270 and. 70 on the gadget one as well. I think um, the weapons could have been a little bit more interesting in this game as well, to be 100% honest with you. They. They're generic for the sort of game, which is fine. But there really isn't many of them, is there? It's really lackluster with the weapons. And to be fair, the... Oh, you son of a bitch. You serious? You are fucking with me. Oh, that was a bit naughty. Game. That was very naughty. Um, yeah. They're just... They're not overly interesting weapons at all. You know, the, the way they sound... They, they, I mean, they sound okay. But they don't feel that fun to use. And you would expect a machine gun um, or an automatic weapon to be significantly different to the pistol. Um in its application <laughs> but it really isn't it's just a pistol that you know you can potentially fire a little bit faster but don't fire it fire it too fast kids because you'll just waste all of your bullets uh so what's through here health is a bit of an issue in this game at least it is with jessifer anyway i don't remember having such health issues with uh, Mark. Uh, Mark? Jack, I mean. Uh, I'm guessing we don't need to do anything here. Alright. We're not getting much. No. Okay. So, I think we've eliminated uh, just about everything in this room. I mean, there is enough ammo to pretty much take on every enemy in the game. Which is cool. I like that. Hangar 2, block C. Right. I mean... Uh, ooh. Right, okay. So, one of these doors is locked. One of these doors is not locked. This, okay, so that door's locked. Locked. This door is not. So I guess we're going to go through this one. Hmm. I hope Sandra's okay. I guess we are going the right way then. Because we have uh, a cutscene. Cutscenes are generally a good thing. Okay, cool. Now, I would love to find another, another, another magazine. For no other reason uh, than I would really really enjoy uh, getting some more bullets not bullets, health because we've, I, I'm pretty sure we're good for ammo I'm pretty sure we are oh, we're back in the dark oh, okay we've got a lot of ways that we can potentially go oh my now, I think there's only one magazine on each floor, I think. Which makes sense, I guess. Let's not get greedy now, kids. So, we're not going through there. Let's go through here. Ah, sensor's broken. Fine, cool, okay. You know, I don't even mind these doors being broken. Her playthrough definitely does seem to be a lot more linear. And I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that uh, now I think Jimmy uh, fails said it best it's it's almost like they've done a scenario a and B campaign and it does have that vibe it's just um, you know not anywhere near as good having said that uh, I would say that's one of my biggest disappointments with the Resident Evil remake was they forgot about the whole scenario A and B thing. Like, they really forgot about it. I mean, you know, game companies get 
a lot of flack for phoning things in these days, but but they really phoned that in. Oh, hello, you little sausage. What are you doing over there, boy? Huh? Huh? There we go. How about you have uh do? Did they do they finish the AI in this game? Kind of getting a cyberpunk feeling here. Oh my god. The the AI in Cyberpunk. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, an immersive living city. My hairy ass cheeks. Right, we're not going that way. The NPC AI in, in Cyberpunk is is <laughs> well, so I say lack thereof. There is no NPC AI. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm enjoying Cyberpunk um, quite a lot, actually, on the PC, but... <sighs> oof. I, personally, I think it's a wake-up call. It's a huge wake-up call. Like, you know, gamers have put up with so much over the years. You know, but I think it's come to a head now where we really have to ask ourselves what the fuck am I paying money for you know the whole bait and switch thing when you look at the pre-release videos of cyberpunk with these massive like sprawling cityscapes and you know filled with hundreds of, of NPCs that are going about their daily lives and doing complex things uh yeah no n n uh uh no, no, that that's um, yeah, that's uh, uh, not even remotely close to what we got. <laughs> I, you know, what always makes me th laugh about the whole cyberpunk uh, situation as well is the amount of shit that Ubisoft got when they uh, downgraded the, the original Watch Dogs. My God. <laughs> Um, and they did downgrade it quite a lot, but holy fucking shit. Cyberpunk, that is a class action lawsuit. Because what they showed off and what we got aren't even in the same fucking ballpark. Anyway, what we've got going here. Yes, we're going to push the switch. I would go as far as saying Cyberpunk is the biggest bait and switch I've ever seen. And that sucks because the universe and the city is cool. It's just, uh, you know, like nothing in it. <laughs> With the most lifeless and drab NPCs that I've ever seen in my life. Um, right. So... Although it is quite funny when they're like glitching through walls and stuff. It's empty! Bullshit! Right, okay. So, where the hell are we going then? So, we've been everywhere. Uh, so, that leads just back around to that area. I'm guessing. So, yeah, that's blocked. Um, is there any penalty for walking through those lasers? Like, do they do anything? I'm not convinced, to be honest. Okay, uh, now I've rambled about cyberpunk. Oh, my God, I could do a whole thing on that. Um, but the thing is, under the crust and the stench... There's something really interesting there. The story's good. The The actual city itself is awesome. But it does feel like I'm, I'm playing a, a game that was not even close to being ready. Such a shame. I mean, the quality of the game, when you look at The Witcher 3, which is arguably their finest work. You look at The Witcher 3 and you look at Cyberpunk and you're like, yeah, are we sure this is from the same developers? Because one has a really rich, detailed world with that you could easily get lost in. And, and one is just 
kind of like a husk of a game with nothing really in it. Ah, uh, I don't know. And then people are like, oh, you're being a little bit unfair on the game, aren't you? Motherfucker! 50 fucking quid! Like, uh, I swear there's a, a good section of, of the gaming community that doesn't really care, you know, about throwing tons of money down a drain, and if the game's no good, eh, oh well. Right, anyway, enough about that. So, I think this is kind of the way we're meant to be going. Um, but, okay, so maybe we are supposed to be going down here then. Hmm. I mean, we can try going down here. To five. I can't remember if we're meant to be going to five or not, to be honest. Passageway. Well, there's a save spot there, which is... Yeah. We've still got a few minutes left, haven't we? No data. Is this where we're supposed to be going? The thing is, um, you know, you, I don't really know if we've, if we've missed anything because, right, there we go. We got zombies. I haven't seen any items. Right, shoot him in the face. Blast that fucking skull off. Right, you dudes are hosed. Wow, look at this. Look at how overgrown this is here. Holy testicle sacks. This is nuts. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to go through here yet. Uh, or maybe we can. I thought we had to fiddle with that as Jack. I don't think Jack's been here yet. Right. Okay, so Jack's already been here then, because that's fallen through. Okay. Fine. Hmm. Because, you know, I understand that games, you know, are going to be buggy. They just are. Games are so complicated these days. Um, so you're always going to have issues with games when they come out, especially these massive sprawling open world games. Ah, nine digit code. Bollocks. But, you know, we we do need to um, have a certain, you know, baseline <laughs> level of quality for our money. And so many games just do not even, you know, come close to delivering. But Cyberpunk, you know, it seems like every big... Um, well, I think there's been about three or four titles that I can think of off the top of my head. This generation that seems to have lowered the bar every single time. And with Cyberpunk, the, the bar of quality now is just so fucking far through the floor. I think I think we're at a tipping point. Shit needs to get sorted, man. Right. Anyway, I'm going to save this guy uh, game, uh, and I am going to try and find out what we're meant to be doing. We've opened a lot of areas up, and we've explored. We're just not 100 percent sure where we're supposed to go or what we're supposed to do. I'm guessing we need to somehow find that five-digit code. And I'm not sure where that is. So when we come back, guys. Hopefully I'll have some answers.